Well, it's Monday, uh, April something. <laughs> I'm gonna try it, getting this uh, tractor and stuff because I need to uh, do some rotor tillering um, this week. Sometimes I had to drag the chain back here by hand. Hopefully this goes good. Um, it's buried pretty good on this side. Oh well, that'll learn me, I guess. I've only got stuck here like three or four times now. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's do a cold start of the VW, I guess. We'll hear the gas now, should start. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see what I did. Hang on. Okay, let's see how it goes now. A lot better. I don't think the tires are up. Put a flat there, shouldn't hurt it, but not going very far. Hope I can yank the tractor out with this. No problem. Not even a challenge for it. Barely even broke a sweat.
Yeah, that's what I uh, love about anything with tracks on it. It has zero impact on the ground other than the front tires, which uh, don't push a whole lot in the ground. You can see where I just drove through a wet spot up there, and uh, they didn't make any ruts. That's what you need. I think all tractors should have tracks on them. I don't know why they went with tires or steel wheels. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you see it passed right over that rut. And uh, other than the front tires falling on that track, kind of packed everything down nicely again. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys since I had to do it anyway. Um, some people asked if I had a close up look of this bug with the tank tracks. I do. Um, it's in another video. I think it's called VW Tank Tracks Close Up or something like that. Um, no, I didn't build it. My friend built it. Uh, anyway, go watch the video if you want to know more about it. <laughs> anyway, that's it.